In this next example, we have a rational function, r of x equal to x minus 5 over x minus 7, and we want to solve for when this function is greater than or equal to 0. So notice the whole entire function, r of x, must be greater than or equal to 0. So what we're going to do is just replace the left side, r of x, with literally pick it up and just replace it with the function itself. And we're going to state our answer using interval notation. So if r of x has to be greater than or equal to 0, then this means that x minus 5 over x minus 7 must be greater than or equal to 0. And the method is still the same. Notice it just becomes like a similar problem like the previous examples. So we must find where the function is 0 and undefined. The function is 0 is when the numerator is 0, so when x minus 5 is 0. And this means that x must be 5 to make the function 0. Where it's undefined is where the denominator is 0, so we set x minus 7 equal to 0. And this means x equals 7 is where it's undefined. So recall that when we write our answer in interval notation, we will have to use a parenthesis when using the 7. So next, we'll go ahead and graph these values on a number line. And then we'll take test values, and of course I always choose 0 if I can. We'll choose 6 for in between 5 and 7, and to the right of 7, we'll go ahead and pick, I don't know, 10. Now, of course, we're looking specifically now for greater than or equal to 0 values. Values greater than or equal to 0 are positive values. Okay, so where we get positive values when we evaluate our test values is where our solution will be. So if I plug in 0 into x minus 5 over x minus 7, we get negative 5 over negative 7, which is 5 sevenths, which is positive. If we use the test value 6, we get 6 minus 5 over 6 minus 7, and notice that that is 1 over negative 1, which is negative 1, which is a negative value. If I put in x equals 10, I get 10 minus 5 over 10 minus 7, and notice that I get 5 over 3, which is a positive value. And notice we wanted values that were positive or equal to 0. So we're going to take to all values to the left of 5 and all values to the right of 7. We can include 5 only because it's greater than or equal to 0. So since 5 is where the function is 0, we can include it. When x equals 7, recall that's where it's undefined, and we cannot include it into our solution. So all values to the left of 5 would be negative infinity to 5. And we'll put a parenthesis on the infinity and a bracket on the 5, only because it's greater than or equal to 0. And 5 is where our function was 0. Jump over union to 7. And this is where it was undefined. We use a parenthesis all the way out to positive infinity. 